This is KBOI 2 News This Morning. It's 6-11 and Boise Police is looking for a man they say beat another man. In downtown Boise early Sunday morning, KBOI 2's Haley Kramer spoke to the victim and his wife about what led to the violent assault. A warning that the video we are about to show is graphic. Josh Williams says he and his wife Christina were waiting for their Uber in this parking garage after leaving the balcony when she became sick. This guy was putting his phone up in her face and uh, and I turned around and probably said, what the you know what I mean, what are you doing? And uh, he balled up his fist and I honestly don't remember a whole lot after that. Josh's face slams into the wall and Christina says she works to pull the man off of him. He was just wailing on him, punching him in the face and finally I just rushed him and pushed him off of Josh, pinned him up against the wall with one arm and the other arm was around his neck. In this video provided by a bystander, you can see security was called and arrived at the scene. Oh, there it is. Still got away. My first thought was, where did he go? <laughs> why, why was he allowed to leave the scene? Boise police are now looking for a suspect. They're calling a white or Hispanic adult male with dark brown hair and a light beard. In that walkway, there's a crack where Josh said his head hit the wall and spots of blood are still on the ground. Cuts. After police arrived, Josh was taken oh, to the is. hospital. This picture shows his face when he arrived. He has a concussion, making the attack difficult to remember, and he says his neck was hurt. Doctors say the bone around his right eye is cracked in several places, and his nose is broken. It was traumatizing to see my husband with his face like that, um, and it's a picture that I won't soon forget. Josh says he didn't realize how much his wife did and how close she was to getting hurt until he saw the video, and watching it brings him one thing. Fear but not for myself, it was feared how close she was. How it could end it differently. But we all went home, so, so that's good. The Williamses say they don't wish the man any harm and hope he gets the help he needs. Their main concern is public safety. Anyone with information about this incident is urged to call Crime Stoppers. A GoFundMe page has been started to help them with medical bills. You can find more on our website, IdahoNews.com.